Welcome back to the math lab. Today's mystery is rather mysterious. We have three mystery numbers we need to uncover. The first one says, I have one ten and five ones. What number am I? Hmm, that reminds me of something. I remember learning about tens and ones. Look! So, we know that we can use tens and ones to represent numbers. But to solve the first part of this math mystery, we need to represent tens and ones with a numeral, like these. Let's head to the math toolbox to get started. We'll definitely need our base 10 blocks to help us solve this mystery. Let's get started. The first mystery number says, I have one ten and five ones. What number am I? Hmm, let's build it with base 10 blocks first. This number has one ten and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Now we just need to count to find out which number this is. Remember, a 10 block is worth 10, so we can start at 10 and count on with the ones. Count with me. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The mystery number is 15. We solved the first mystery number. Remember, you can write the answer on your math mystery, too. Let's take a look at the next mystery number. This one says, I have one in the tens place and two in the ones place. What number am I? Ooh, this one's a little different. Instead of telling us how many tens and ones it has, it tells us the numerals it has in each place. Numbers have something called place value. That means that in a two-digit number, like 14, the first place tells you how many tens there are, and the second place tells you how many ones there are. So, if this mystery number has a one in the tens place, we can write a one here. This number has a two in the ones place, so we can write a two here. What number do you think this is? 12. Great problem solving. Two down, one more to go. The final mystery number says, I have two tens and zero ones. What number am I? We could use our base 10 blocks to solve this, but we don't always have our math tools with us. So it is helpful to have other strategies in our toolbox, like drawing. I know I can draw a line, to represent a 10 block, and a small square to represent a 1 block. This mystery number has two tens, so I can draw two 10 blocks like this. This number has zero ones, so I won't draw any of those. Hmm, what do you think this number is? If you ever get stuck on a tricky number, don't forget you can use what you know about place value to write the numeral. In two-digit numbers, I know that the tens place is first and the ones place is second. If this number has two tens and zero ones, that makes 20. Great thinking. Wow, we solved our second math mystery together in the math lab using three different strategies. We used base 10 blocks, our knowledge of place value, and a quick picture to help us identify and represent all three mystery numbers. Remember, we have all the tools we need to solve any problem. See you next time. Hey, hey.